dreams are very common in the sense that we all have them. But what is it that makes us different? Some people sleep to dream, and people like Jade Simmons dream to live. Now, what do you Thank you. Yourself? Okay, I want to own about five businesses, right? I want to have already been in this America, and then I, I want to be on tour playing piano in Europe and Canada and uh, South America. So, yeah. You're pretty good. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know what it's like back then. Yeah. You're so goal oriented. And, um, the best part about being that age is you really don't believe there are any limits. You just assume, this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be able to And she did. Immediately after high school, Jade started on her first goal of becoming Miss America. Uh, tell me a little bit about the road getting there. You were Miss Chicago, right? I was Miss so. Chicago, uh, but I competed for the first time in South Carolina. You know, I, I wasn't one of these girls who grew up in pageants and actually had a very negative stereotype about pageants. It wasn't until um, someone said to me, someone approached me and said, you should do uh, Miss Junior Miss in Charleston. And I said, well, that's not my fit. I'm a musician. I'm an academic person. I'm not into pageants. And, and they said, you know, there's scholarship money. And I was like, oh, where do I sign? Well, not bad. <laughs> when I learned that there was, I could further my education uh, by competing. The first runner-up and winner of a $30,000 scholarship is... Becoming first runner-up was not the end. Jade spent a year traveling and speaking about her platform of youth suicide. This time away was also an artistic grooming experience. For me, I spent uh, time every day speaking up to four schools a day about these issues. I was performing, um, and it changed everything about how I looked at what my future was going to be about. And you know it's so easy, the younger you are, the more self-centered you are. You think that everything you do is about you or for you. So even the way that I performed, the way that I presented began to change because my emphasis started to be on what's the audience going to get from what I'm offering? What are these kids going to get from what I'm talking about? So After completing her year of service, Jade went back to Northwestern University to finish what she had started and also obtained her master's in piano performance from Rice University. Even with all these twos, she was always reminded of the one night in Atlantic City, New Jersey, during her Miss America pageant. That there was this moment, I was playing the talent competition, and in the middle of this piece by Chopin, the entire audience, which is the size of a football field in Atlantic City, they just erupted into applause. And I thought, nobody came out and gave them a lecture on how you understand classical music or how you should listen to it. But this group of lay people, so to speak, were responding to this music that I love. And you know how it is, you're on stage and you get that moment where you feel like you've got the audience in the palm of your hand and I kind of knew, this is still what I want to do and I'm going to figure out how to make this. Jade figured it out. And even with all the many obstacles of normal life, she made it happen. And um, grad, school. You grad school and all that, and you got married. I did. I did. And eventually, a little later, you had a, you had a baby. Yeah. Okay. Now, how were you able to just keep things going with well, all that? Part of it is you you have to be partly delusional, right? And you have to still believe that you can do everything, and you have to be completely <laughs> unrealistic in how. Long you know my husband because he's my high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I married my high school sweetheart. What works with that is that he's known me since I was 15. He always knew what my goals were. He knew they were big. And I used to have to warn him periodically, remember what I said I wanted to do, now I'm going to be gone, I'm going to be traveling. So he's been a wonderful support system. Um, when I decided, when we decided to have Jaden, uh, it was a reality check. So I had all these women saying, you know, this is going to be life changing. And, you're not going to be able to do this and that. Part of me was doing like this, like, oh, you know, yes I am. I have to say that I was wrong in the sense that it was a very difficult thing to have her. When Jane was born, I was back on the road about a month and a half. Even as an artist whose bio reads like an artist on a mission, from performing all over the U.S. with award-winning artists and symphonies, to being a featured artist in Essence magazine and performing at the White House, she is still a very humbled person. I think the hardest times is in this business you realize everybody's great and some people aren't so great and they're really <laughs> really successful yeah. too and I think the hardest thing is that I have to remind myself is to not compare myself to uh, Lady Gaga or even uh, Olga Kern who is an amazing concert pianist and say what's Jade's path going to be 
if I can stay focused on that, I won't get so discouraged. But I think it's easy to look around and see other people who seemingly have more, who seem to be where you want to be. And that's what I think stops so many artists in their path to go, I, I'm already 30 and she's 20 and she's at the top of the charts and traveling the world, I'm never going to get there. But that's not your story, that's her story. In March 2009, Jade released her debut CD, Revolutionary Rhythm. And now in 2012, after waiting idle for her publishing company, Jade established her own label, Superwoman Records. And in Superwoman form, she has created her new CD, Playing With Fire. And we're an appropriate title because Jade has yeah. definitely so now turned up the heat. Okay, okay. Because the last time I saw you was 2005. Mm -hmm. I came to Harlem. Mm -hmm. And it was very, you know, you playing piano and your gown. And yeah. We, I was scared to clap because I didn't know what was the clap. Or exactly. so I was just, everybody was just kind of sitting there like, okay. Yeah. And it was like a, people would go, ah! Like, oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> so it was very, nice. at the Apple store, it was more like, you know, Jack, you know, like people were clapping yeah. and you were making us. Uh, clap and snap, and even had a little church clap going on. Church clap in there. So, yeah. How did the uh, the transition happen? Well, yeah. ironically, what you saw me in a few years ago is is the lighter side of classical music. Okay. That's that's the modern classical, more avant garde, atonal music. And then I might do uh, I still play recitals that are Chopin, Beethoven, Rachmaninoff. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you saw the other night was this kind of fusion music. Uh, that I've started creating. I have a, a partner in crime, Robert Reynolds is his name. He makes electronic hip hop beats for me. Um, and I play classical sounding, um, kind of experimental music on top of that. Kind of merges everything from film music to hip hop to classical. It's so yes. blessed that I still get to do that. I still play with orchestra. But what would it feel like for me to start to combine all those different shades of jig, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and come up with something that felt like what you were at, where you didn't feel like, do I have permission to enjoy yes. Not only am I telling you to, but the music itself makes you want um, to have fun. And I think there's such a negative stereotype associated with classical music, which is devastating to me because it's, it's the music that I'm most drawn to. So my mission feels like, how can I present this music that I love in a setting that both feels familiar and challenges me. So what started as a dream has turned into a reality for Jade Simmons. Although it has not been easy and there are still many miles to go, Jade continues to push. It's the push that separates your dreams from reality. This is your Survivor Specialist Mo and you're watching www.motvworld.com.